Hi Paragon Mills artists, I hope you're doing well, staying healthy and safe. This is another segment, another part of our 2.0 virtual art gallery classroom. And here we are um, once again at the Farmer's Market on Rosa Parks Boulevard. And we're here with RJ from the North Arts Collective. Hi RJ. Hi, thank you for having me. But um, I wanted to look at what it meant to plan a gift for someone for later. Um, and what does it mean to give a gift uh, to someone? And so uh, you're seeing like these children, they planted uh, a seed which has already taken root and will soon become something that everyone can, can enjoy. And the title of this entire piece is called Identity. And that is a Cherokee word for gift. And the Cherokee were the indigenous folks of this land here in Tennessee. So I wanted to kind of show an appreciation and a remembrance for those folks who gave their gift for us. Wow, that's incredible how you can take something historical mm -hmm. that is native to Tennessee and create something for our time period mm -hmm. to appreciate. Can you tell us a little bit about any other art that has inspired you? that has motivated me to create? Um, one of my favorite artists right now um, is a gentleman by the name of Aaron Douglas. And a lot of what he did in his artwork, um, I wanted to show also another type of appreciation uh, for that as well. On how I put different images in different spots. Um, but uh, he inspires me a lot. And I'm pretty sure you guys like this too, but I love cartoons. So cartoons inspire me a lot. There's a lot of artists that are in that realm that inspire me. And of course, there's a lot of artists in Nashville in general that I love as well. So um, I get a lot of different influences from different spaces. I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned Aaron Douglas because he's also one of my favorites. And before I moved to Nashville, I was in Detroit where I went to school. Mm -hmm. and University Library, which is now an office. Mm -hmm. But this reminds me, if you ever get a chance, uh, artists, to go to Fisk University to visit, they'll allow you to go see the murals. But it's been, like RJ said, there's a lot of similarities because he does something with his blending of colors, mm -hmm. uh, where he uses one hue, one color, but he adds different, like, different amounts of white, So part of the fun part of, of making a mural is knowing how you want your colors to lay. And so I knew I wanted to use a certain amount of colors. You're going to see the blue, you'll see the red, you'll see the yellows, um, and you'll see this lighter blue. But then how do you stack those to make like an image? So you'll see some of these harder lines here, which I kept like almost like a solid blue. But then you'll see somewhere over here, where that solid blue kind of turns into this lighter color. So think of, about blending colors as a push and pull. It's kind of like a conversation. I talk, you talk, I talk, you talk. So if I'm letting the lighter color talk one time, then I'll let the darker color talk one time. And then we'll go back and forth until we have a nice blend. So you'll go from dark to light in some areas. So you can keep it separated if you wanted to, 
but then you can also have a conversation right here to where you're blending one color into the next to make it fade. That's northstudios.com, and you'll be able to see every picture of all of our murals and their locations there as well. So. Um, and why did you all? Why did you all spell north and o r f? Oh, because we're on the north side, but we call it north out here. So. Go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank RJ. You. Thank you, Paradigm Mills, once again. And I for this mural, for this art, art for this. I want you to think about that word that RJ mentioned, gift, um, or, and the word identity. And I know that um, I really like receiving gifts of art from my son, who's six years old now. And maybe you can create a gift of a lovely artwork, either with pencil, um, pencil, paper, crayons, whatever you have. Or maybe you can with the things you can find in your environment. Maybe make another public artwork with sticks and rocks or and cardboard even. Um, cardboard is one of my favorite things to use because you can tear it and really build something with it. So think about that word gift and identity. Who are you um, in your family? And create something to give to someone or yourself. For yourself. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you all very soon. Stay safe and healthy. And um, as RJ mentioned last time, creative. Yes. <laughs>